Hi guys, my name is Natalie Maraduena or Natalie Noel, and I'm going to show you my nighttime get ready for bed with me routine. Honestly, my nighttime routine is probably the most important part of my entire skin regimen because everything builds up throughout the day and it's so important to get all that off in the nighttime. So my first step that I always do is I take a shower before bed, get everything off and make sure that I am totally, totally clean. So I'm gonna get into the shower and I will be right back. Okay, and voila, I am out of the shower. First things first, I feel like it's always really important to set the mood. So I always light a little candle. This one is the girl you need to calm the F down. That's the one I've been using recently. And then I have this Kylie skin candle that actually smells very amazing. And I love it. Okay, so I have most of the makeup gone off my skin, um, but I definitely still have like eye makeup left. So I'm gonna get into removing my eye makeup with one of my little reusable cotton pads. You can get these on Amazon for literally like a couple bucks. And I'll put some of my Beauty Counter Instant Eye Makeup Remover on there, just a little bit. And rub away gently. It's more like a pat. I'm like trying to loosen up all of the eye makeup off my eyelashes. I would say that I have like pretty sensitive skin so as I rub it'll probably get pretty red but whatever and I love these things because I don't have to go to the store and buy like cotton pads or anything I just throw these guys in the wash or even just like hand rinse them and let them dry and it's amazing so not that much left honestly I guess it kind of looks a little darker in the camera but in real life it doesn't look like it's that much so eye makeup gone Next, I get into doing a little like removal. I like to tone my face and I just use a really basic toner, Witch Hazel, the generic brand, nothing crazy. But again, I get another little cotton pad, put a little bit of toner on there, a little Witch Hazel, press it in and swipe away everywhere. And then you get into the eyebrows, like up into the hairline, everywhere making sure I'm removing like all the last remnants of my makeup. Make sure everything's cleansed. I feel like throughout the day, all of the makeup kind of like slowly melts off down my neck. So cleaning my neck is very, very important. Okay. Honestly, surprise, there wasn't that much leftover makeup on there either. Usually I have like a good amount of makeup still left over, which is not a good thing, but maybe I just cleansed really well in the shower. Okay, so now that I am, I don't know why I keep doing this. Um, now that I am fully cleansed, toned, makeup is removed from everywhere, it's time to do a little face mask. And my favorite one that I've been doing throughout quarantine, I found out about this actually on TikTok, and it's from Ordinary. It kind of became a little trend just because of this, the consistency is kind of like vampire blood. They call it like the vampire face mask, but it's like an exfoliating little facial overnight peel sort of thing. You put it on your skin for like 10 minutes max. It exfoliates the next day. I have like a new layer of skin. I feel like fresh and glowy, but you'll only do it once or twice a week because it's pretty, pretty strong heavy duty stuff. And I'm gonna take my hair towel off so that I can get to all parts of my face. Okay, just put a couple drops. I'm the person that takes the dropper and just puts it like directly on your skin. I don't like rub it in my hands or anything. Oops. Ooh. No, I just kind of rub this around. Yeah, I rub this around till it's fully covering. Like my whole face is probably gonna look a little crazy. Okay, this is the final product. I look scary like I actually have blood smeared on my face or something, but it's just a little peeling face mask. So I leave this on for like 10, 15 minutes, go into my room, watch a little TikTok, something, a little Netflix, whatever it might be. And then I come back and I rinse, wipe it all off and get into like the moisturizing serums, all that fun stuff. Okay, this one, I forgot to press record when I came back in to wipe it all off, but you get in the gist. I have now removed the facial and I'm gonna get into all of my hydration because now that I kind of like dried out my skin and like wiped it clean and all that stuff, um, now I need to get into 
like extreme moisture because contrary to popular belief, even though people think that when you get pimples, it's because of like excess oil, which it is, but like that your skin's too moisturized, there's too many things um, hydrating your skin. It's actually the opposite. You need to like extra hydrate your skin because your skin is like trying to counterbalance the fact that it's dehydrated. It's like a whole thing uh, that I've learned on my very intense and long skincare journey. Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm trying to moisturize my skin is serum first and then I get into the moisturizers. The serum that I've been using lately is from Ghost Dermocracy and it's a hyaluronic acid serum. I love like any hyaluronic acid serum. I feel like they're all pretty good and you know, the same purpose gets the same point across. Yeah, so I just put a couple of drops of this on my skin, similar to how I did the face mask before. Um, I just drop a little here, a little here. Ooh and I kind of just rub and pat this in everywhere. All right, so once that's fully patted in, I just kind of give it a second, make sure it's all dried and seeped into my pores, and I go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer I've been using lately is from Summer Fridays, um, and it's also got hyaluronic acid in it. It's like the main ingredient, but it's got like this thick, like, jelly cleanser and when it goes on my skin it almost feels like it feels like a mask at first because it's so thick but then it soaks in and gives like the ultimate hydration a little dot here a little dot here a little dot here get up into the forehead every little nook and cranny must be moisturized because if there's one part of my face that is not moisturized i can like feel it pulling in the rest of my face and then make sure to get down the neck very important. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I am hydrated. Okay, so the next part of my routine is doing some under eye moisturizer and anti-aging. I'm only 24, but I still feel like I get a little bit of like crow's feet and whatnot. So I like to go in with this Dior Age Delay Advanced Eye Treatment Capture Youth. And it works pretty well, I think. One pump per under eye. It's kind of what I go with. I just started going to a new dermatologist and she was like, sunscreen every day always and preventing wrinkles is like, why not? Why would you not do it? And I was like, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. Like what's the point in resisting? Like just do some anti-aging treatments. It'll only help you in the long run. So one of the last final things that I do in my whole um, face routine, if you will, before I go to bed, is putting a little spot treatment cream. I use this one for my dermatologist. It's just some benzoyl peroxide. And I put it on any little spots that I have anywhere. All right, so the final, final thing that I do is I hydrate my lips. There's all sorts of fun, fancy lip masks that you can put on, but I feel like Vaseline is the best and they know that I love them, so they sent me this little bedazzled jar with my initials on the top, NM, which I love. And I just put a little bit of this on my lips, like a nice little, like a nice little lip mask, like a good coat of it. Nice and hydrated. I hate having cracked lips, I hate having dry lips, it makes it hard to speak, and it looks terrible. <laughs> so, and that's about it. That's my little nighttime beauty routine. Nothing crazy, like I said. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but gets the job done for me. Thank you guys for watching and following along with my nighttime routine. I am exhausted, so I'm gonna head to bed. Bye!